So don't go and take a sleep <laughs> and let this go. No, don't cook or take <laughs> anything and go and sleep. This is How To Foodie Nation and Arlene is back in the kitchen to teach us all about curry counts. So let's get cooking. Did you bring these? <laughs> No, no. Oh gosh. Did you bring these from Tobago's waters, Arlene? Obviously, I have to bring the fresh, good thing for Arlene. I realize it <laughs> smells. It doesn't smell fresh, but you could get a little, little ocean a little kick Tobago, in it. A little Tobago breeze. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. So when I can, I bring, I bring stuff right from home. Thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. So let's be clear, mm -hmm. because I do even know. Is it one conch, two conchs? No, but that makes sense, right? Did we say conks right through. No, really, it's one conk. <laughs> many conks. Conks. But whether you say conk, conks, whoever, this is what we're making. So tell me, how did we start? Okay, so first I took the skin off right. and I cut them into small pieces, mm -hmm. right? Because it takes a while to cook. So if you cut them in small pieces, you know, they'll cook a little faster. Okay. And then I coated the conks with flour. Mm -hmm completely in flour and mm -hmm. then I rinsed it off clean okay and that helps to remove the freshness yeah it pulls all of it out yes mm -hmm. so and then now we season okay all right so we're going to do some salt pimento and you know I like plenty seasoning and things yeah and these are the familiar <laughs> seasonings that we've come to know and love here on how to yes so this is a uh, hot pepper okay scotch bonnet mm -hmm. um, no seeds yeah, I realize. Right. We're not trying to get <laughs> brain mouth. We actually want to taste the cups. Yeah. This is some shadow benny. Mm -hmm. Let me help you out. Yes, lime juice. Mm -hmm. right. So we're only going to use half of this garlic in okay. the season because we're going to truncate the other half to do the curry. Okay, sure. Right. So That's that half in there. Good. And you can, you know my little thing, I like to tie up my thyme. Mm -hmm. And just drop the and whole bad boy. Just drop in. it in, yes. <laughs> and then we're going to mix this very well. We're going to cover it down, let it sit for about a half an hour. Okay. And then we're going to start currying. Half an hour max or half an hour minimum? Minimum. Okay, we, but we overnight could go overnight if we... Yes, overnight, overnight is, is always better. All right, so we're going to mix this. Yeah. And come back and cook up. All right, cool. So 30 minutes later. Yes. And now we're ready for the pot? Ready for the pot. Okay. So medium heat is what mm -hmm. you have there. Yeah. Doing some vegetable oil. Sure. And then I know you're curry before. Once or <laughs> twice or three times or so. You know, <laughs> just I just may have. All right. Curry powder. Mm-hmm. All right. Make sure your oil is nice and hot. And you make sure it gets in that sizzle. A little jira powder. Mm-hmm. Right. We're gonna stir this. And let it cook. We cook in the curry here. So we want to make sure that the curry gets a little dark in color. Making sure that you cook the curry, make sure it's not going to be grainy at the end. This Got is it. the first step. Got it. How long does this take to cook generally? About two to three minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now that we have the nice dark color in the curry, we're going to mm -hmm. add some onions. All right. And the rest of our garlic. Mm -hmm. We're going to let that fry up or chunky, as it is to say. <laughs> Make sure the curry coats all of the ingredients here, the seasoning. Right. And once this cooks for about another two to three minutes, we're adding our conks. No, but this is. This is many, so this it has to be many conks. pieces. But it's one conk. <laughs> Which is it? <laughs> I, gonna, this I am going time. to stick with conks. You could stay over there and try to figure out the rest, okay? I don't want nobody jumping up in the comments and correcting my English. One conk, many pieces of the same one conk. <laughs> don't fight us, guys, don't fight us. We're trying to figure it out here. All right, so this is looking good here. Let's mm -hmm. add our star. Property. In your whole bundle <laughs> in the corner there. Yes. Very important to get that sizzle, that sizzle, that sizzle. Still, still, still. Right, so I don't really use water to do this. Okay. I let this fry up. 
Mm -hmm. And then we'll cover it down for about 5-10 minutes, but stirring occasionally to make sure that it doesn't stick. So no water at all? No water is it. Okay. The liquid that we're using is of course the coconut milk. Yum. Which, after we do that process, we add a little coconut milk at a time, a little at a time. Right. Any additional salt or anything to taste. Got and it. let it take its time and cook nice and low and slow. That looks really good. So we cover? Yes. All right. Ooh. Perfect. <laughs> this is looking good, good, good. The sticking is good, don't worry. Yeah, we'll pick that up when we <laughs> add our coconut milk, I'm sure. Yes. Yeah, man. The sticking is part of it. So this is what it's supposed to look like for now? Yes. Okay. And you see, we didn't really add any water to this. Mm -hmm. It has a little liquid of its own. Right. But it's really to get everything fry up and cook up and steam up together so they can't could take in the flavor. Well, the flavor's in. The flavor <laughs> is in. So now we're going to add our coconut milk mixture. Sure. And you're not going to let this swim. You're just going to gently cover it. Right. All right. Give it a good stir. Pick up everything that's thick up at the bottom of the pot. Give it that nice scrape. Right. Mm -hmm. And you're cooking like this until the conch is complete. How keep long? Keep it covered, keep it slow. This will probably take about 45 minutes again. Okay, and low heat? Yes, a nice okay. low simmer. Cover it down, keep checking it. If it dry down, add a little more of your coconut milk. Right. Make your gravy. So don't go and take a sleep <laughs> and let this go. No, don't cook or take <laughs> anything and go and sleep. Got it. <laughs> no problem. So we'll cover back? Yes. And then we'll check. No, I just want to comment on this <laughs> rich curry sauce. Like, I'm just looking at this and I can see this is a quality curry going on here, my friend. Good it's job. It's dealing quality, yeah? I mean, come on, come right. on. Ready can to we taste? taste the quality? Yes, we can. Okay. I want a piece and I want, I'm looking for sauce. <laughs> Saucy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Of course, you get to determine how much sauce you want. So yeah. if you're making it with dumpling, you can make plenty of sauce. Mm. Mm -hmm. But if you're doing it a little dry style, you could do that as well. Plenty sauce. Sauce is boss, and this sauce is so nice, <laughs> so rich. Oh, it's jacquard. I feel like this. Yeah. This is one for you guys to try. I know a lot of people may not have had kongs before. Mm -hmm. It's not something that everybody all around the places <laughs> eats, but be adventurous with us, guys. Be sure to try this recipe. With it? Yes. So with it. Um, I see you talk about dumpling, mm -hmm. but you ain't bring no dumpling. A little bust up shot. Right. So what, what I mean to say is we have to figure out what we need to eat with these conks. <laughs> Tell us in the comments below, guys, what are you eating with your curry conk? Since Arlene didn't bring some dumpling, I guess we'll have to <laughs> boil some rice and finish the rest of oh, this. Oh, I have up. to come back and make dumpling. Oh, 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 you're volunteering? No, well, this is normally what you used to be telling me. I can't make one thing. I always have to come back to make something to go with something. I love when Arlene volunteers. So dumpling, <laughs> dumpling is next for us. We Arlene, come back to make dumpling, guys. <laughs> Stay tuned. Until next time, bye-bye.